So in this video, we're going to learn what a balanced home electrical load is and why it's important, why it's useful. So your typical home electrical circuit will look something like this, and I've drawn it here. So you'll get a voltage from your utility, which I'll, I'll say is V. So in the US, that's 120 volts and its frequency is 60 hertz. In, the Europe, in Europe, it's 230 volts. But importantly, you get three wires, not just two. And so this middle one is called the neutral wire, which is grounded at at the connection that you get from the utility. And then you've got two wires which are called hot wires. So there's one on the top and one on the bottom. And importantly, because you only have one phase, because these two voltages are synced with each other, if the voltage at any given instant on this top wire is plus V, then the voltage on this bottom wire is minus V. And so we can use both of these to connect appliances to. And let's say that we've got two electrical loads which have some resistance RL. So this might be a given appliance or a set of two appliances, or this might be uh, an entire home circuit that you're interested in placing. So where do we put it in this circuit? Well, let's say, you know, one obvious choice is let's put them both on this top section of the circuit. So this has a resistance RL, this has a resistance RL, and I've drawn the wire resistances here as well. Let's assume that they're all the same for now and call them RW. So the resistance of the wires that are routed inside your home. So the question is, what is the power dissipated in this wire if I have attached two loads here? Well, each of them is going to draw a certain amount of current. So let's call that current I, I. And the current, the RMS current, is just the voltage divided by the load resistance, assuming that the wire resistance is small, otherwise we'd have to add it on the bottom here. And so the current flowing through the wire is twice the load current, so two times I. And so if we wanted to calculate the power dissipated by the wire, and so in this case, this is the top hot wire as well as the bottom uh, neutral wire, then we know it's just the current flowing through the wire resistance, which here is two times I multiplied by the wire resistance, which I've called RW. And so this is four times I squared times my wire resistance. And so, okay, that seems reasonable, but that's not the only way to place things. So maybe for example, let's just redraw this our home electrical circuit. What if I were to put one of my loads on the top branch? So this is one of my loads and this is my wire resistance. My wire resistance for my neutral wire and for each of my hot wires. And the other one on the bottom branch connected to the lower hot wire, they get the same amount of power in each case. So my my loads both get the current that they need. So this current is I and this current is I. Where remember I is very approximately V divided by the load resistance if we ignore the wire resistance in this case. But now what is the power dissipated in each of the wires? So in here, it's the, the current is flowing through the top wire and the bottom wire. Well, it's just the current flowing through the wire, which is I squared times the wire resistance. So the power is I squared times RW. But huh, look at this. In the case where we have one on the top and one on the bottom, our power in dissipated in each wire is a quarter of that that a quarter of that in the case where we had both loads on the same circuit. So this means we have less power dissipated in our wires. And as a consequence, we can use smaller wires. So we don't have to use wires that are as thick. They don't need to handle as much current. And so this helps reduce cost 
is the primary reason we like doing this because copper is expensive. And if we have to buy hundreds of feet or hundreds of meters of copper to go everywhere throughout our house, we want to make that as cheap as possible. And so having your home electrical circuits be balanced like this, where you've got just as much resistance, just as much of a load in the top half of your circuit as the bottom half, allows you to have a lower amount of power dissipated in your wire and use lower diam smaller diameter copper wires, which reduces the cost of making a home electrical system. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind the scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.